life into something good for parents with sick newborns. ABC 7's Victoria Sanchez spoke with the couple about their goal of providing moms and dads a connection with their kids even while apart. <laughs> Little Emerson is an energetic and stylish 15-month-old, but his life started out much differently. Turns out the cord was wrapped around him three times. Mom Allison Stern was given an emergency C-section, and Emerson was rushed to a hospital 25 miles away. I and mean, Allison got to see him for about, a what, minute? 30 seconds? Yeah. Or maybe a minute. Like, on his way out the door to get in the ambulance to go down to Children's National. As she recovered in Reston, Allison couldn't hold her newborn, but she could see him with a special camera. I assume that every hospital in NICU had a camera. So when we transitioned to a hospital out here closer to us, it was 20 minutes away, we didn't have a camera. I honestly felt a hole in my heart because I'm like, how are we going? We can't see him now. In October, the Stern family started raising money. So a lot of those donations really came from the NICU families themselves. So far, nearly $72,000 for Angel Eye cameras is going to the Virginia Hospital Center. These cameras are just uh, transformational, really. What they do is it's a camera that can be mounted on the incubator or on the crib of the infant. And um, mom and dad can just stream in to see baby anytime. The secure live feeds are password protected and can be viewed on a phone or computer. The goal is 28 cameras for VHC, then expand to other NICUs in the community. Victoria Sanchez, ABC7 News.